Alright, we're here with another episode of the Tinkle Files. We're going to be talking to Damon. And you said that you don't have ex- exactly a story, but some tidbits. So, let's start with the first one. Alright, um, I mean, I there's plenty of stories about Hinkle, but uh, mainly, you know, everyone's going to talk about the rock course and how crazy is about rocks, uh, <laughs> and it, it really is insane. Um, it's not like little rocks, they're really boulders, more than anything. Uh, so, you know, he's he has, it's almost a fetish for, <laughs> for big boulders, but, um, you know, there's, I remember... One time we were doing the rock course, the little course that he figured out with these big rocks, and uh, we're going through it, and I, I get done, and I look down at Hinkle's shoes, and there's holes, and there's just dirt all over him, and he, he like, takes them off, and he, he doesn't have any socks on him. I'm like, Hink, what are you doing, man? You're just... And I was like, you don't have any socks. Like, there's mud, and his feet are bleeding, and, and he's like, ah, Effort, I'm a dirty dog. <laughs> so he definitely, definitely is a dirty dog there. Um... And another thing that's just kind of, he's insane about it, and uh, it's kind of gross at the same time, is we're, I know we, we go in the wrestling room a lot, and sometimes he can't find his mouthpiece. And, uh, God, I swear, I uh, I remember him picking up a mouthpiece and just putting it in his mouth, and, he, and he's like, ah, that's not mine. And he takes it out and puts it right back down and goes and finds his. And, you know, it's, it's kind of gross, but, I mean, I guess it's, it's just Hinkle. Um, you know, I, I don't think I would ever put one in my, put a mouthpiece in my mouth unless I really knew it was mine, but, you know, that separates us from Hinkle. Um, you know, another thing is the text he sends. Uh, most of the time, they're, they're, it's a foreign language. You got to decipher them. Um, it, sometimes they either have, like, uh, music lyrics in it that, God knows I have no idea what the song is. Um, I'll have to look it up or something like that. Or, uh, you know, he's just throwing curveballs at me. I have no idea what they actually are. So um, each text takes me a little while to decipher. Um, and then other than that, uh, I remember this summer he was he's big on to, uh, with his hands. He uh, thinks he has the rock rock hands, um, you know, from picking up so many boulders and he's, they're calloused up and nothing's gonna harm his hands and so he'll go to we'll go to camps and he tells everyone that everyone else but him or you know uh the tougher guys have palm olive hands you know like the soap so uh, he said every every little kid we run by has those palm olive hands and they gotta get the get the real rock hands so it, um that's another thing but uh all in all Hinkle's a he's a crazy dude but uh I love him to death and uh, I'd go to war for him any day I saw earlier on Twitter he blamed you for being at the eye doctor. Yeah. Said you need to cut your nails. I don't know about... Were you poking him in the eye? No. I mean, I might have put my hand in his face, but I... Plus, my nails are never long, so uh, I don't know. I think he just wanted to blame somebody. Uh, Does he like to blame people for his problems? A little bit. If if he has to go to the doctor, I'm sure he was just blaming somebody. So. Because <laughs> normally he doesn't go. You know, the whole mouthpiece um, really blows my mind. <laughs> I hear he's a health nut, but he's willing to pick up a gross, bacteria-filled <laughs> mouthpiece that isn't his and then put it back. I think in his mind, his immune system's stronger than everyone. So <laughs> it, even if he does put someone else's germ-filled mouthpiece in his mouth, it's not going to harm him. So I think... That's probably his mentality towards it. Plus, he just wants to find his mouthpiece. I'm surprised he didn't care to find out whose that was. I know. I don't. (laughs) I don't know. That's probably still sitting there to this day. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your story. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.